Parliament. Yes. Now, were you a member of the NPP? Yes, I was, but uh, on the quiet side, you okay. know, because Rollins and I disagreed on so many things. I was going to ask you that. He was a very good friend of yours, but at a point in time, you fell out. Well, yes, I must confess, I joined the military from Legon mm -hmm. because of Bwachijai and Jerry Rollins. Mm -hmm. They were two parties, and I joined them and we became three parties, mm -hmm. and we were very close friends. Mm -hmm. Then, because of the two of them, I enlisted to be a soldier, and I was sent to San Hester and came back. When I came, then they did their coup, mm -hmm. 4th June. I was not part of it, but subsequently, the first came, and Rollins, apparently, he, he knew me so well, mm -hmm. so, so, so well. But I didn't like my persona. Why, did he see you as a threat? Well, I would say he saw me as a threat, but I would say he didn't like my persona. Okay. So he didn't want me around him. He didn't want me to be a member of the PNDC. Mm. And uh, he gave me no opportunity to be part of his administration. And uh, from afar, uh, I didn't like what he was doing. Mm -hmm. So I was MPP mm. from its foundation. Right. But I was scared that if, if I put my head too much, he might... Kill uh, you. Yes. So I was on, in the wings until the people of Jinjini came and said I should come out and represent Brekum in parliament. Mm. But you were still jailed by him. Yes, I was jailed by him. Um, in fact, uh, three months before my... No, no, I was supposed to be mm -hmm. promoted captain. Yes. And I was going around chasing uh, the military secretary mm -hmm. and the minister of defense for my promotion mm -hmm. from lieutenant to, to captain. captain. right? Around that time, just as uh, the publication was due that Lieutenant Fadati has been promoted captain. Then I was arrested. Mm. So I was arrested as a lieutenant. And it was because of him. Right. He orchestrated my arrest. Mm -hmm. And I was detained for six months. And in some, I was not tried, I was not queried, nothing. And I was just there. And then I remember so well the CEO Mm -hmm. of my unit, uh, he told me later, one-on-one, -on -one, right. that uh, the records came from military secretary that I was due for promotion. promotion. But I was in custody, mm -hmm. and he didn't understand. So he asked the brigade commander, Brigade Abana, and he said, go ahead and publish it. So he published that I've been promoted captain. Whilst you were in jail? Whilst I was in jail. So... I was released on 6 September 1983. Okay. I came to see that I was a captain. Mm. And, uh, but General Quenu, the Army Commander, mm. told me uh, I have been retired it's very well. Mm. So unfortunately for me, I wore the rank of captain, captain? only one day. Oh, wow. That's unfortunate. How did you <laughs> feel about it, though? Well, it was nice. Dressed as a captain, Madam young Madam. captain. But you can imagine how I felt when I went for interview with General Quenu and he told me, we have been retired. I said, well, at least thank God I have my head to, to survive. Yeah. And uh, already I was a law graduate with second class upper. Mm -hmm. So my mates were Bujalumo, um, Charles Haibo, mm -hmm. Kofi Abouaji, they were making it big. Mm -hmm. So quickly, I went back to the law school. And by God's grace, I qualified as a lawyer 3rd October 1986. Oh, wow. Together with the current chief justice. Mm. OK. And then we, we started surviving. Yeah. Until Breku people came and... I took it to Parliament. But how was Parliament in your time? Oh, indeed. I must confess, it's the most exciting period of my life. Okay. 
um, partly because of the intellectual debates that mm. go on the floor of the house. You know, I would say that from my own experience, if you are not somebody who is interested in debates and talking, talking, talking issues and mm -hmm. so on, then parliament is not a place for you. Okay. Because parliament, parler, mm. French word parler, talking. It's a talk shop. Okay. You know. And you like to talk. And I, I, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> you know, I'm a, I enjoy talking. Right. So we go to parliament, we argue issues. Uh -huh. And I never missed a sitting in parliament unless it's unavoidable. Oh, I never fine. missed. It's very interesting, you know. Mm. And one thing I miss in parliament even now is there's always an opportunity for a member's statement. Okay. Any member of parliament can at any time stand up and make a statement. And when a member makes a statement, then you can stand up and comment. Uh -huh. on it. Oh, madam, it's very interesting. <laughs> Would you want to go back to parliament? Oh, yes. In fact, just for the joy of parlay, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so are you going to contest again? Well... I don't see myself. Brekum, Brekum is now divided into two. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was MP for Brekum, but now we have Brekum East yeah. and Brekum West. Mm -hmm. And my hometown, Jene Jene, is in Brekum West. Mm -hmm. And uh, Brekum East is predominantly Brekum, metropolitan Brekum. Right. But Brekum West is now shaky. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the fortunes are. <laughs> No.